you just divide the distance by the time and... Kevin, is that you? I'm too bummed out to go to period four physics. You guys, go on without me. What happened? Last night, I ran to the TV like I do every Tuesday to watch Commander Xander and her amazing adventures across the cosmic pathways of yesterwear. But I must have gotten the channel wrong, because instead of a pulse-pounding hybrid of science fiction and high fantasy, it was a documentary on sex trafficking. I could only watch five minutes before I ended up like this. We actually just learned about trafficking in health class, Kevin. And I think if you'd watch the whole documentary, you might feel less disturbed and more empowered. Learning the facts helped me a lot. And I think it'll help you too. Also, while this information can be difficult to process, it's important to remember that it could be happening to someone you know. We should focus on supporting survivors. To be honest, I don't really even understand what trafficking is. Basically, sex trafficking happens when one person causes another to take part in sexual behaviors in order to gain something of value, whether it's money, food, or a place to stay, clothing, drugs, a job, or even a ride to school. Anyone could be a trafficker, even someone the victim knows or trusts, like a family member or someone who acts friendly or romantic. And sometimes the victim might not feel like they are being forced or manipulated, or even realize that they are being trafficked. This process is known as grooming, the trafficker could promise love, a romantic relationship, or safety in an attempt to build trust with the victim. The trafficker might lie to, manipulate, or threaten the victim. Examples of lies include telling the victim that they'll get in trouble for taking part in sexual behaviors. Manipulation can include gifts or providing protection. Or, threats of harm could be made against the victim or their family. No matter what the situation, the most important things to remember are that sex trafficking is always illegal and especially that it's never the fault of the victim. But something like that could never happen here, right? Actually, it's more common than you think, and anyone can be trafficked. It happens to people of all genders, races, ethnicities, sexual orientations, and age groups, from big cities to suburbs, in the United States and across the world. It does a lot of damage to whoever it happens to, even after the trafficking stops. Is there anything I can do about it? The first thing is to know what adults you can trust to talk to if you think someone you know might put you or other people in a dangerous situation. And to help others, you can keep an eye out for signs that something might be wrong, like injuries that don't make sense, being gone from school a lot, keeping to themselves, or seeming more tired than usual. Of course, people could show these signs for a ton of reasons other than sex trafficking, and individual reactions to trafficking can look very different. But if something doesn't feel right, or you are worried, it's okay to check in with them, or a trusted adult, just in case something's wrong, no matter what it is. Thanks guys, I feel a lot better now, and more prepared to help other people. Just like Commander Xander herself! Speaking of which, can I count you guys in for Commander XanderCon next weekend? We can cosplay as the entire bridge crew, and go to the Yesterwear Geography panel, and get pizza in the food court, and try to find an original copy of the Series 1 SS Yesterbolt with pop-off starboard engines, and... To learn more about sex trafficking or get help, talk to a trusted adult. You can also contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline at 1-888-373-7888. Text HELP or INFO to 233-733 or visit humantraffickinghotline.org.